Well, students don't learn from teachers they don't like. Students. <laughs> okay. South Africa. The world's youngest professor, Soborno Isaac Bari, who is known as God of Mathematics. He will be hosted by Dr. Terhani Mabunda, an alumnus of the Da Vinci Institute. He will visit Nukani Education Center and Terhan Primary School to meet and greet students. He will remind graduates about the importance of education. However, Professor Soborno Isaac knows that no single speech can turn everyone to the next Nelson Mandela or Einstein. But he hopes that this speech will be the catalyst to that transformation. Following is Soborno's message to Nukani students. Prof, welcome to South Africa and we are looking forward to your lecture. Creativity is often pictured, often conceived, and just letting your mind go wild. But that is not the case. Creativity is both thinking big and working hard. Uh, here, look. Here, first, we will talk about how we conceive it. Creativity is conceived as the art of thinking. Two, be able to connect ideas in ways that never seemed possible before in order to reach new conclusions. And often, they don't even teach you the fundamentals of creativity in school. They don't teach you the ability to think big. They only teach you a few hard facts and not the ability to make an inference or connect ideas or do any of that sort in math and science. In fact, it, it kind of distorts your view of math and science because it is seen as a boring jumble or, or jumbly world of equations and facts and ideas that seem boring because schools make it boring. Schools don't make it so you have to use your imagination, you have to use their creativity. Your, in fact, they make it so you're just told the lesson plan straight to the face without any semblance of creativity or discovery involved. So, we first need to at least involve the fundamentals of creativity in our schools and our centers. We need to learn to be imaginative, to think big. And now, we also must work hard. In fact, Yukani Education Center says it themselves. Only those who dare to dream, only those who work hard, will flourish in the new world. And so, it must be. You must work hard. If you don't think so, then here, let me give you an example. Imagine it's the middle of your math class, and you turn on the pie song and start dancing. Yeah, sure. It's connecting ideas in strange and fathomable ways. But is it working hard? No. It is just it not even really thinking big for that matter. It's just being weird. And so that is not an example of creativity. Creativity is thinking big and working hard. Creativity is the ability to achieve your dreams. You must be able to imagine. You must be able to create new ideas. And once you do, you must work hard to make them come true. You must work hard in order to make your dreams to change the world. To change the world is something you must do. You know, we should give every child the chance to at least slightly impact our world, to impact math and science, and to leave a mark on this world, to leave our world better than it was inherited. We must have a better world, we must have better students, and we must teach them to imagine. We must teach them to dream, and we must teach them to work hard to achieve those. We must teach them the art of being creative, and we must teach them that not only is being creative thinking big, thinking beyond, thinking outside of the box, Thinking is the art of creativity, but thinking is not the whole picture. It is only a piece. We must also think about working, working hard, working to achieve our dreams, working to achieve our ambitions, working to achieve whatever we desire. And that is what we need in our schools. 
we need to teach children not only the fundamental art of thinking, which we do not already teach. That is why our graduates fail to give us a breakthrough, because we do not teach them how to imagine, but we also must teach them how to work. We must teach them that working for your dreams is all that you need. You must think and work. And so, who is going to help you achieve your dream? Who is going to help you learn? That is your teacher. And you need a good teacher in order to even imagine, to create. You need good te we need good teachers in our school. We need passionate teachers. Teachers who are ready to teach when their students are ready to learn. Remember, students don't learn from teachers they don't like. Students... <laughs> okay. If you have a teacher that is short-tempered, has horrible decoration in the classroom, and plays the pie song throughout the math class on loop, are you going to like that teacher? Not at all. Yeah, because they are not outgoing, they are not excited, and their taste in music is horrible. And so, that, we need good teachers. We need teachers that can teach our students. Teachers that are open-minded, that can be nice, friendly. And because our students do not learn from teachers they hate, teachers they do not like, that if you do not like something or someone, you are inclined, you are incentivized not to learn from them. You are incentivized to have a closed mind when it comes to what they say. But for a good, outgoing, excited, passionate teacher, it is the opposite. You are open to what they say because they are so passionate about it. Clearly, you cannot reject it. And so, uh, let me give you an example of this coming from one of my favorite educators, Rita Pearson. She, uh, uh, she was a great educator. She was a teacher for a long time. And one day, she, uh, she was teaching ratios. And she wasn't exactly too good with numbers. So, she had to look at this big, like, teacher's edition book. And, and, and the, when she taught the lesson, she thought she had taught it completely right. However, when she looked at the lesson plan, she was completely wrong. But not one person had stopped her so, to see if she had any mistakes. Nobody. And she was horrified that she had taught the completely wrong thing to her students and were uh, surprised that nobody had stopped her. Why? Well, when she asked her students the next day why they didn't stop her, it was because, well, Mr. Pearson, we, we just liked your lesson too much. You were so passionate, too excited. How could we stop you? And that story just shows when you are excited, when you are outgoing, even if your information is slightly wrong, like in Rita Pearson's case where she taught the wrong thing about ratios, your students will listen to you. And when you have a good lesson plan, when you can teach your students to think creatively and imaginatively, that is the key to how we get better students and graduates who leave the world better than they came into it. So that is why we need good teachers and we need those good teachers to teach that creativity um, imagination. It's both a combination of thinking and working. Thank you.